Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of C programming and in this video we are going to study auto storage class. Okay, last video covers basics related to the storage classes. So if you are not aware of that part, please watch the video of storage classes. Okay, now there are actually four storage classes and here we are going to cover auto storage class. So basically whenever we declare our variable okay along with our variable declaration we have to specify the storage class one of the storage class among four so if you do not specify any storage class by default it is what it is auto so let us see how to define this first see you can say auto int x or you can just say int x both statement belongs to what it belongs to auto storage class okay means it is not necessary to define this auto keyword okay without this keyword also your variable belongs to auto storage class now in introductory video of storage classes i tell you that storage classes determines the scope lifetime storage location and initial value of your variable so let us see what is the scope of auto storage class so basically the scope of auto storage class is local what is it local or even it is also called as block scope now what is local or block scope local or block scope means what i can use that variable in the function where i declared it means suppose consider that I have main function okay and I declared one variable here int p and say there are many more statement and again I have one more function say fun and here also I declare one variable say int q okay and there are again many other instructions also now this p variable scope or scope of the p variable is limited to this main function only now what it means i can use this p variable in the main function only i cannot use that p variable in fun function similarly q variable scope is also limited to that function that means the scope of variable q is what local to that function okay so whenever you declare any variable inside any function it is what it belongs to auto storage class and scope of that variable is local or block and sometimes these variables are also called as local variable see you cannot use this variable here even if actually you can declare the same variables in the different different function but both are treated as different because this is one memory location and this is another memory location so I hope you got this now let us see what is the lifetime of this auto storage class variable so these variables remain in memory till your function executes okay means this q variable remain in memory till my function execution when my function execution completes memory allocated for variable q will be released so lifetime of my variable is what till function or block executes it will remain in a memory now what is the storage location where this data or where this variable value is stored so it is stored in main memory where it is stored it is stored in your main memory or primary memory or you can say it is it gets stored in your ram and what is the initial value initial value is garbage value means any variables that belongs to auto storage class it has a garbage value and what is garbage value any value within the range of that data type we cannot predict that value this p variable can contain any value till we assign the value to it it can contain any other value you can try it and you can print the value of p okay so till now whatever program we studied 
and whatever variable we declared all the variables belongs to auto storage class okay so i hope you understand this concept in next video we are going to study one more storage class thank you